Today on the channel, two more Adrenaline 2 packs from Jax. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, back again on the channel, and today we're unboxing more Jax Ruthless Aggression figures, specifically two Adrenaline 2 packs, both kind of tag team flavor, I guess you would say, with Eminem being our first one we're going to look at, uh, Johnny Nitro and Joey Mercury, uh, you know, one of the best tag teams of the mid-2000s, I would have to say, and one we sorely need an elite on, I would love an elite uh, two pack. We need a Joey Mercury. I mean, we've kind of got our way with the John Morrison just recently in that Elite Survivor Series set, but a Joey Mercury would be great. I'd love to see a two pack and throw in a, another Molina in that, and there you go. Uh, I don't know if it'll happen, but hey, stranger things have happened, so we'll see. But let's talk about this one from Jax. You guys all know the Adrenaline Series. Uh, a great spot for managers and their wrestlers. Two packs, feuds, uh, a Jax. Uh, straw, a stalwart, I guess you would call it. I don't know. It was always there for Jax. You'd see the regular Ruthless Aggression. You'd see the pay-per-view series. And then you'd see these two packs. And also the three packs with Treacherous Trios. Quite the breadth of a line Jax had back in the day. But we all know there was so many more retailers to sell these things at back then. You had the Kmarts, the Toys R Us, the KBs. Um, and then some regional players still out there that sold these kind of things. So there was plenty of room for lots of toys back then. Nowadays, you're pretty much stuck with Walmart and Target. There's only so much room on the pegs. You just don't see all these line extensions like you used to. Um, it's kind of sad. I liked it. I guess it's good for our wallets, but uh, it always got us some interesting figures over the years. There's no doubt about that. So let's look at this one. Johnny Nitro, Joey Mercury. If I can get the light just right. <laughs> there it is. Uh, matching uniforms, matching uh, pants, uh, very good figure, very good two-pack. I always liked this one. Obviously, would I have loved to had fur coats with these? Of course I would, but Jax wasn't going to do that for a simple adrenaline pack, especially on both figures, um, but still cool nonetheless. I love the matching gear. A uh, little interesting, we got one tag team title. That always drove me nuts. Why couldn't you put two tag team belts in there? Um, very, very frustrating on that aspect, but... Uh, Cool packaging nonetheless. You got the glamour shots on the side. You know, Jack's always good about the glamour shots. The big WWE logo. You know, it's right there. That certifies it. Like we're seeing right now, we saw it on the top picks and WWE elites going forward. They got kind of that certified authentic logo. No different than this kind of back in the day. Just a different spin on it. Of course, the Adrenaline at the top. And they're promoting Adrenaline Series 19. John Cena and Edge. Mark Henry and Rey Mysterio. And then Eminem. You can see them there. And then you got the uh, Deluxe Aggressions below. Uh, Booker T, Carlito, Undertaker, Rey Mysterio, Kane, and Edge. Deluxe Aggression Series 2. Uh, I always say it, Jax did a great job promoting their other lines and their other uh, sets out there. Uh, something that's sorely missing between all lines going forward. I know as a kid I always liked these. I'd say, oh yeah, I need to get these. It was almost a checklist that was built in for you. Uh, always enjoyed that. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's give them the old open up. Maybe. There it is. All the stuff. The tape wearing out. Cool background. But we'll see you later. There's old Johnny Nitro. He stayed to the party, but we'll see you later. And we'll see you later again. There's Mercury. It's funny, all that tape and glue wears out on these. There it is, the one tag team belt, as I said. That's kind of just strange to me. What are you going to do with just one tag team belt? I guess they're going to share it and each hold one. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's open it up. See you later. Johnny Nitro. All kinds of garbage here. There's the tag belt. Always hated these tag belts. Uh, no decoration on them. The deluxe classic superstars had the greatest belts of all time even better than mattel if you ask me they had beautifully painted correctly uh belts look those up if you haven't seen those we'll get to those in our cheap plug jack's classic superstar deep dive we do um here's joey mercury giant nitro i'm trying to look i think these are like the exact oh no they're not I, I was gonna say they're the exact same figure from the the waist down they are but they got the different torsos and obviously the different head uh same hands so very similar, but just a little bit different. That's kind of always been the story of Jax. Uh, you look at Joey Mercury first. Always liked the head scans on Jax. Uh, not sticky. That's good. That's why I always wondered. Some of these long hair ones like this always get sticky. 
this is not sticky at all so that's good on the back he of course got his pants and he's got the two black spots there uh same with uh mr mercury of course um I, I feel like jacks always did johnny uh nitro uh yeah i guess we'll call him johnny nitro here because that's who he was at this time uh but john morrison they always did a great job in his head scans i always liked his head scans uh, and I like this M&M two-pack. I mean, we had a three-pack. We had other two-packs. These guys were represented very heavily for a couple years there in the Jax line. And rightfully so. They were all over WWE TV. They were tag team champions. You know, they had a great manager. There was just a lot to love about these guys. It would be cool to get a coat to dress these up. Maybe I'll do that one of these days. Play a little bit of a long game. But there's plenty of third-party manufacturers out there could make a coat. I'd like to have one fancied up, dressed up in a coat. Um, maybe even put these with my Mattel Elites because it's a, now that I think of it, it's a spot that's really missing from that Elite collection. Hopefully one day we get the Joey Mercury. We're going to have no problems getting the John Morrisons these days, but it'd be cool to get Joey Mercury at least one time in the Elite line. Uh, and you know, that mid 2000s era, they haven't really delved into it a whole lot, uh, as far as Mattel Elites going forward. So I don't know if it's going to take a few more years down the line or what, but that's going to be kind of a more, more of a classic period than it is right now. Um, but we'll see. I mean, we still need a lot of uh, Attitude Era guys. You still need a lot of new generation guys. We still need a lot of classic guys. So who knows how deep the rabbit hole goes. But nonetheless, I would love to see updates of both of these. But very solid two-pack. Recommend this one for sure. You need at least one represent representation of this two-pack or this tag team in your set, if you ask me. Let's take a look at the next one, DX. All right, next up we have D-Generation X, Shawn Michaels, Triple H from Adrenaline Series 24. Also in Series 24, we had Paul London, Brian Kendrick, Undertaker, and Kane. We're also promoting Deluxe Aggression Series 7 with Sabu, Rey Mysterio, Chris Benoit, Carlito, Jeff Hardy, and Mr. Kennedy. So there's the back first. We'll get that out of the way. Um, but then the front. So there you go. You got DX. We had a lot of different DX variations in the Jax lineup in the Jax days. Uh, nice green carding here. I think the carding's very well done on these Adrenalines. Um, Michael's coming with a uh, plastic uh, DX shirt. We'll see. Hopefully we've got no sticky problems here. Uh, and then Triple H coming with just a regular on painted on shirt. So we saw that a few times over the years. I actually may have this Triple H already. I'm going to have to look. Uh, that seems to be an issue with me as I'm trying to complete this Jax with this aggression set. Uh, sometimes I'll get a smoking deal, something will cross eBay, and I will either say, oh, I don't think I have that, I'm pretty sure, and then 99.9% .9 of the time I should have went to my collection and set up and checked because most of the time I do already have that figure. Um, but it's just kind of uh, what happens. You Sometimes you buy some doubles on accident. And I know I needed this Shawn Michaels, and I think it's been so long since I bought this, I very well could have bought this uh, just for the Shawn Michaels saying, you know, uh, it was cheaper to buy this two-pack than get him individually, which happens sometimes as well. So there you go. With all that being said, let's uh, open up this old DX pack. We got a lot of DXs in the Adrenaline days. See you later. In the Jack's Ruthless Aggression days, uh, tons of DX figures. Uh, these are no different. Um, many, many times, you know, it's so funny how they do it. You know, there's a couple head scans. They would use the same bodies, different head scans, making a new figure. They would uh, were the master recyclers over there at Jack's. And uh, sometimes you love it, sometimes you hate it. But boy, it does make a big collection, that's for sure. You got Triple H, comes with his sledgehammer, his patented sledgehammer. Not a big fan of this sledgehammer. I always felt like the handle needs to be longer and a little skinnier. Uh, the proportions don't look very good to me. These always remind me of like the big inflatable ones you'd get at a carnival and you'd like hit your brother or sister in the head with. That's what this uh, always reminded me of. Um, is what it is, I guess. So let's get Sean out. See you later. We'll do Triple H. Like I said, I very well may have this one already. I'm going to have to double check, take a little look, see where I'm at. Uh, hair a little sticky. It's well on its way to getting sticky, which you guys know I, it annoys me. But you get a little clear plastic tape, wrap it on there, pull it off, repeat until it's uh, clear. Somehow it counteracts the stickiness. Uh, no paint issues, no scuffs on the uh, tights or the back of the shirt, the front of the shirt. You know, wearing the DX merchandise. You know, they made the same Triple H with no shirt, with different shirts, uh, different tights. I mean, there's just so hard to get a checklist of this Triple H because there's so many knockoffs, or not knockoffs, but uh, alterations of this same figure, with same head. Uh, Shawn Michaels is a bit of a sticky mess. Uh, and you can see it. It looks like the shirt's even sweating. That's how bad it is. Um, reminds me of one of the other Ruthless Aggression figures with the, kind of the same head and he had a shirt on like this, but different. 
But I got to take the sticky tape to this one big time. It is extremely sticky. I'm not even going to touch it. Uh, we have this Shawn Michael too with these pants with no shirt on. Uh, so once again, recycle, recycle, recycle is the name of the game with Jax most of the time. Uh, smart business model. Uh, keep your costs down. Keep people buying the same things over and over. Look at me all these years later buying the same stuff over and over. Um, but a cool two-pack. Everybody loved DX back in the day. This was obviously a good seller. Uh, kind of an anchor of that adrenaline set. I would I feel very safe in saying that. The most popular one out of those. So there you have it. Two guys that we had a whole lot of Ruthless Aggression figures of. Old Triple H and Shawn Michaels. So here's two more to add to the collection. Um, besides that, I don't really have any anything else on these Adrenaline ones. Two very good figure sets. Uh, I like the M&M set a heck of a lot more. I think that's a must-have. Get that in the uh, tan tights like we saw or get the dark tights. Those are really cool too from another Adrenaline pack. Either way, pick up all of them. I'm sure they're still haunting some Walgreens out there somewhere in the world. Yeah, probably not at this point, but you never know. Um, so there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a comment if you pick these up, your thoughts on these. Uh, if you had these, all that fun stuff. And then uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always. And for Eminem and DX, I'm Kyle, LOD. See you guys all real soon.